When you think of companies driving today's technology revolution, NVIDIA, TSMC, Intel, or even giants like Microsoft and Apple, there is one behind-the-scenes player without which none of these could thrive. That company is ASML Holding NV, a Dutch firm that holds the keys to the future of semiconductors. In this video, we will explore why ASML is a compelling long-term investment. We will look at its business model, financial performance, valuation, growth drivers and also the risks that investors need to consider. ASML is not a household name like NVIDIA or Apple, but it sits at the very foundation of the global technology stack. The company produces lithography machines, those complex tools that etch the microscopic circuits into silicon wafers, making modern chips possible. In particular, ASML is sole producer of extreme ultraviolet or the EUV lithography systems the only machines capable of producing chips at advanced nodes like 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, 3 nanometer and moving towards 2 nanometer and beyond. This gives ASML a monopoly like position in one of the most critical parts of the semiconductor supply chain. To put this into perspective, without ASML's EUV machines, we would not have advanced AI chips, iPhones or high performance data center processors the world would be stuck with older, less powerful chips. This dominance gives ASML an unshakable moat, unmatched pricing power and global strategic importance. ASML generates revenue through three primary channels. The first is new system sales, which comes from its cutting edge UV and deep ultraviolet or the DUV lithography systems. The second is installed base management, a recurring stream of revenue earned by servicing, upgrading and maintaining the thousands of ASML systems already operating worldwide. The third comes from upgrades and options, which are enhancements that boost the throughput and efficiency of older machines. The installed base management business is increasingly important. In quarter 2 2025 alone, it brought in 2.1 billion euros which was more than a quarter of total sales. This recurring revenue stream helps stabilize earnings and reduces the impact of cyclical swings in semiconductor equipment demand. ASML's moat is further strengthened by long-standing partnerships with exclusive suppliers. For example, Zeiss makes the ultra-precise mirrors required for EUV machines. Trump supplies the lasers that generate UV light and ASML itself owns Simer which produces the light source for both EUV and DUV systems. These deep relationships makes it nearly impossible for competitors such as Nikon, Canon and China's SMEE to catch up. On top of this, ASML invests heavily in research and development. Each year it spends more than 4 to 5 billion euros which is nearly 15 to 20 percent of its revenue. This relentless focus on innovation ensures that it stays ahead technologically and widens its competitive lead. The latest financial results highlight ASML's strength. In quarter 2 2025, the company reported 7.7 .7 billion euros in net sales and 2.3 billion euros in net income. The EPS or earnings per share was 5.9 euros. Gross margin stood at 53.7% which was comfortably above guidance thanks to strong EUV shipments and higher value upgrades. Net bookings reached 5.5 billion euros in the quarter, split between 2.3 billion euros in EUV and 3.2 billion in non-EUV systems. The backlog remains extremely strong at 33 billion euros, giving ASML revenue visibility well into the coming years. The company has guided for 15% revenue growth in 2025 with full year gross margins expected to be around 52%. Installed base revenues are projected to grow more than 20% year on year. This adds resilience to its earnings base. It is also worth noting that China now accounts for more than 25% of ASML's revenue. This is despite export restrictions. This shows the indispensable nature of its machines. Demand simply finds its way through other players if one country is blocked. One of the strongest growth drivers is the AI revolution. Artificial intelligence is fueling unprecedented demand for advanced chips. 
Training large AI models requires both high bandwidth memory and advanced logic chips. ASML's EUV systems are central to manufacturing these chips. The company's CEO has stated clearly that AI is the key driver of growth in both memory and logic segments. Their customers are increasing UV capacity by nearly 30% compared to 2024. Another growth engine is the arrival of high NA UV systems. These next generation machines like the EXE 5200B deliver about 60% more productivity than earlier models. They will extend Moore's law for at least another decade. The first of these systems has already been shipped and is being qualified by customers. The volume production is expected around 2026-27. The third driver is the global expansion of chip manufacturing capacity. The semiconductor industry is projected to surpass 1 trillion US dollars in revenue by 2030. Governments across the world are pouring subsidies into new fabs. The US Chips Act alone allocates 52.7 billion US dollars. The European Union has its own 43 billion euros program. Japan is investing trillions of yen and South Korea has pledged 450 billion US dollars. No matter where these fabs are built, they all require ASML tools. This diversification spreads demand across regions and reduces reliance on any single market. Finally, installed base management remains a powerful growth lever. As more EUV and DUV systems are sold, the service, maintenance and upgrade business expands alongside. This segment already accounts for 20 to 30% of ASML's revenue. This provides stability even during downturns. Despite its critical role, ASML stock is trading at valuations reminiscent of the COVID crash. The forward P ratio for 2025 is around 27 and is expected to fall below 19 in the next few years. Historically, ASML's average PE over the past decade has been 37.3. With a 2025 EPS estimate of $28, Applying that historical multiple gives a fair value of about $1044 per share, which is far above current levels. Analyst average target price sits at $842, which is still conservative compared to its long-term potential. In short, the market is undervaluing ASML. Part of the reason is geopolitical concerns and another part is so-called European discount, where investors habitually assign lower valuations to European firms than to their US counterparts. But ASML is not just a Dutch industrial company. It is a global strategic asset. The US technology ecosystem from Apple to Nvidia depends directly on ASML machines. Ignoring this reality leads to a disconnect between ASML's importance and its current stock price. Of course, investors must also account for risks. Geopolitical uncertainty remains the biggest, with recurring debates about export bans on advanced tools to China. While overall demand is not destroyed, these restrictions can cause temporary disruption. There is also the risk of tariffs, particularly between the US and Europe. Tariffs could increase costs or delay investment decisions among ASML's customers. Management has acknowledged this risk and is working to minimize its impact. Another factor is cyclicality. The semiconductor industry is cyclical by nature and after the current AI-driven boom, growth could slow in 2026 before the next wave picks up. Finally, there is the question of technological shifts. Over the long term, the industry is likely to transition from 2D transistor scaling to 3D chip architectures. While ASML is well positioned today, its dominance in 3D is not yet assured. At its 2024 investor day, ASML projected annual revenues of 44 to 60 billion euros by 2030 with gross margins in the range of 56 to 60 percent. This implies annual growth of 8 to 14 percent. The key drivers will be advanced logic chips for AI, memory technologies such as high bandwidth memory and government-backed fab construction worldwide. This means ASML is both a cyclical and a secular growth story. It will face ups and downs along the way, but over the long term, its role as the enabler of cutting-edge chips makes it indispensable. 
ASML is the gatekeeper of Moore's law and foundation of global technology ecosystem. Without its machines, there would be no advanced chips, no AI revolution, and no progress in consumer electronics or high performance computing. The company combines monopoly like power with strong financial performance, recurring service revenues, and clear growth drivers in AI and global fab investments. Despite this, the stock trades at valuations close to crisis levels, offering a rare opportunity for long term investors. Yes, there are risks in geopolitics and industry cycles, but these do not erase ASML's unique position. For patient investors, these risks are temporary hurdles rather than deal breakers. In simple terms, ASML is not just another stock. It is the backbone of the digital economy. And right now, the market is giving investors a chance to own that backbone at a discount. For anyone looking to invest in the future of technology, ASML looks like a very good buy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.